and he's currently removing the works from Paramount. Oh yes, sí, señor, what's up? Yes, it is my friend's Madison Magazine. Not only Paramount, but Miramax is also behind the project which shoots in the fall. They're going to begin shooting this sixth movie this fall 2024 and it's expected to be released 2025. We don't know the dates exactly, but just Paramount and Miramax are making a new take on the franchise and expect to go before cameras in the fall. Paramount revealed at CinemaCon back this Thursday, Fast and Furious producer Neil Moritz will produce the new scary movie. You, you, you can remember this first scary movie that was launched in 2000, it was so well, so impressive, so so fun, so, so spectacular. Previously, we saw Scream, and I know what you did last summer on this scene. Then, director Kenan Ivory Wayans featured across 278 million dollars globally with Anna Faris, Regina Hall, and sparked four sequels with director Malcolm Dillon's Scream Movie 5, The Beauty King 2013. Five movies of a scary movie, it is impressive. Miramax will finance this new Scream movie and promote will distribute the new comps after Miramax named Jonathan Glickman CEO and you know the square movie is so hilarious and I actually on the internet movie database was surprised that the first movie which I consider the best one of all of the five owns 51% of the tomatometer and 43% from the audience score and I found also <laughs> fun comments about the movie and I, I believe they have more uh, uh, pretty much good score on Rotten Tomatoes, but it seems to me that it is not the case. And I looked also at the counts of Anna Faris, and um, she's not telling whatsoever anything of this. I only read for uh, people.com that Anna Faris back in these days didn't felt like so good becoming a star right from a comedy movie, but now. At her 40s, she was reflecting on what comedy has really given to her, which is the freedom to be goofy and self-deprecating and to like laugh when I fall or laugh if there's something in my teeth or if I'm being um, another thing. It's given me a freedom that I didn't fully recognize because I am a personal big fan of Anna Faris. So this sixth movie, it's about to be released the next year. And uh, finally, we don't know if the new, this new take, this new movie, this sequel will feature the original stars and a new cast or a mix, a legacy sequel, if you will. Paramount did not offer a release date, but it's expected for 2025. All of this came from the Hollywood Reporter and People.com, but we expect, what I, what I would love to, is um, an interesting mix with today's stars, Maybe some cameos, maybe some criticizes uh, Dune, for example, Timothy Chalamet, Austin Butler, maybe Zendaya. We can see something like that, and also the old school, the old school with Anna Faris, and maybe one of the Guardians brothers. That would be really cool, really amazing. You can let me in the comments now if you are a big fan of the Scream, the Scream, the Scream movie franchise instead of not a big fan of this uh, Scream movie franchise. I'm a personal big fan, but my favorite are uh, one, two, and maybe three, maybe three, the, th the first three movies. I love them so much, but thank you so much for watching my video. See you next. I'm super buff. Bye bye.